Day. We are back. We're with Jeremy Whitman at the stove. Ema Hawk. This guy is a legend. Uh, exactly. Ema, what are we making here? It's a seafood omelet. So you can tell Kevin you put some fresh mushrooms, celery, onion, uh, bell peppers. Not celery, is it? And a little bit of tomatoes. And sauteing the shrimp. That's some red bell Sauteing it up and then put, put the eggs. Look at that. Jeremy, look at you go, buddy. That's all the wrist, huh? <laughs> So, Ema, the, yeah. when it comes to shrimp and something like this, I know there's a fine line between done yes. and overdone. It can help us understand so that. Right now, Dan, I think it's going to halfway cooked. This is add the eggs, uh, already beaten. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, you want to put the eggs there uh, for the omelet? So, when, when you're yeah. doing this, Ema, because yeah. you know sometimes people like to see if they can do it at home, is there a texture? Or color of the shrimp that you you want them to be. I mean, um, you know, I, I get shrimp, confused. You, about know, that. you don't want to overcook them, so then you're going to let it sit for a little bit to form, and then you're going to flip it. Okay. So it does stay the same. But the shrimp, just don't cook too much. Yes. I mean, uh, two minutes shrimp is a long time. I think that's enough you need. Once you're cooking, it's going to get chewy, lose all its you know the natural juices you yeah. have. So you want to retain as much as you can. Now, one of the things I noticed that Jeremy's using is that kind of a rubber spatula. Just to put in there so the eggs can go in between. Uh, so okay. at home, you know, you make the omelet pretty much the same. But uh, yeah, I like the rubber spatula because a lot of people use the metal ones. And every time I try to use the metal one, everything falls apart, <laughs> which is very sad. It makes me super yeah. sad when that happens. Um, and um, so get a rubber spatula. It can like change the way you do eggs. Uh, this has got to be very popular, huh? It's very popular, yeah. The seafood omelet, you know, sometimes we make with the spinach. And when we used to have our omelet station, I think Jared made it for many, many years. So he's an expert in making omelets. I tell you what, <laughs> we're going to work on this omelet. We are going to go to break. You're going to want to come back and see what this looks like finished.